guys, it's Doc Curry, and in today's video, we're talking about a stock that ran up 580% in just seven months, the last time the Fed raised interest rates in 2016. So let's get into it. Now, before we start talking about this stock, I do want to remind you that I'm not a financial advisor. Nothing I talk about today is a recommendation to buy, sell, or hold. These are just my opinions, which may or may not be accurate. Now, the company I researched is a gold mining stock, and they also have an uranium property as well. You can see here on Webull how uranium and gold mining are two of the top performing industries right now. Historically, when Fed rates are below 5% and the Federal Reserve raises interest rates 100% of the time, gold rallies a ton. During the last five rate hike cycles from rates below 5%, gold went up by 195% on average. Although, during the three most recent rate hike cycles from rates below 5%, gold only went up by 49% on average. Still, a 49% return over three years, when the stock market is expected to drop in value, is a huge return on investments. Right now, the Fed rate is a variable 0 to 0.25%, and you can see here that as of the end of December, the rate was 0.08%. You can also see that the last time the Fed raised rates was from a period from the end of 2015 through April of 2019. And we know that the Fed is looking to raise interest rates three times this year and twice next year. That means gold prices could see a massive rally over the next three years. You have the chance to potentially 3x your money over the next three years just by investing in gold. But who cares about a measly little 300% return? What I'm going to show you is a way to leverage that return by anywhere from 5 to 30 times. What that means is that over the next three years, if gold goes up by 50 to 200%, you have the opportunity to make anywhere from a 2.5x to 90x return on your money. What we're talking about here is investing $1,000 and then three years from now having anywhere from $2,500 to $90,000 in your account. If you invest $10,000 today, you're looking at anywhere from $25,000 to $900,000 in your account three years from now. And if you invest $100,000 today, you have the opportunity to grow that to anywhere from $250,000 to $9 million over the next three years. Now, these numbers are not guaranteed. They're based upon historical trends. But check this out. The historical trends hold up 92% of the time. I don't know of any other investment right now that has a 92% success rate and gives you the opportunity to grow your portfolio by anywhere from 2.5 to 90 times over just three short years. Now, if you're a short-term trader and you don't want to wait three years, I'm going to show you what happened the last time the Fed raised interest rates. Between December 2015 and July 2019, the Fed raised interest rates and gold rose from $1,050 to $1,440 per ounce. In other words, gold rose by 37% over a 3.5 year period. But look at what happened to gold mining stocks. This gold miners ETF, ticker GDX, bottomed out in December of 2015 right before the Fed started raising interest rates. In December of 2015, GDX closed at $13.72. Just seven months later, GDX closed at $30.59 for a 123% gain in just seven months. Now, of course, I'm not here to talk about an ETF. If we're really gonna maximize our profits, we need to hand select the best gold mining stock to invest in. The stock I'm talking about today didn't rise 123% during that seven month period. It rose 580% during that seven month period. And currently, this stock is significantly undervalued and has the potential to rise in price faster than any other gold mining stock out there. Okay, the stock I'm talking about is GLDG. This is Gold Mining Inc. 
And if this company sounds familiar, it's because we just talked about it last week. And in today's video, we're gonna go into more depth on this stock and we're gonna take a deep dive into the company's holdings and financials. Now, I do wanna let you know upfront that this is a sponsored video and that this video is being produced on behalf of Gold Mining Inc. But don't let that turn you off because I already covered the stock last week without getting paid for it. After I talked about the stock last week, one of their partners reached out to me and asked me to do a deep dive into the company, and that's why I'm producing this video for you today. So today, I'm gonna do a full analysis, and I'm gonna show you why I think GLDG is the best gold mining stock to invest in. Then, at the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you what I'm doing and whether or not I'm buying the stock. In full disclosure, I do not currently own any shares of GLDG, and I will not buy any shares prior to this video being published. I'm not here to profit off of you. I want you to profit with me. So let's get into it. Gold Mining Inc. is a gold company focused on the acquisition and advancement of low-grade gold deposits in five separate countries covering 11 separate resource stage projects and three pre-resource stage projects. They also have a significant holding in a gold resource company and a uranium mining project. And one of their resources holds a significant amount of copper as well. Now, a gold resource is a plot of land that has gold deposits. And as I just said, GLDG owns 14 gold resources in five countries. And I just want to highlight some of their properties. Their assets in Paris State, Brazil benefit from low corporate tax rates and an ease of permitting. Their Seu Jorge project in Brazil will take about 13 years to mine and should produce just under 1 million ounces of gold at an average cost of $554 per ounce, well below the spot price of $1,800 per ounce that gold is currently trading at. Their projects in Colombia contain both gold and copper, as well as a small amount of silver. These projects have the potential to be more profitable than their Paris State projects in Brazil. And I also want to highlight GLDG's Yellowknife project in Canada. Yellowknife is home to three of the highest grade gold mines in Canada. It also has existing infrastructure and there are an estimated 1.8 million ounces of high grade gold at this project. In total, GLDG should be capable of mining 2.4 million ounces of gold over 12 years from the Yellowknife project. Now, each gold resource is valued based upon the amount of gold it holds and the resource grade of that gold. Resource grade is a measurement of how close together the gold is. A high resource grade means it's easier and cheaper to mine the gold. A low resource grade means it's harder and more expensive to mine the gold. Most of GLDG's resource deposits are low grade, but the amount of gold in the resource is huge. GLDG's ounces in the ground is among the highest of any junior mining company. GLDG's resources hold an estimated 32.4 million ounces of gold equivalent, which is beyond rare. GLDG's Columbia projects contain a total of 1,212,000,000 pounds of mineable copper, which can be mined over a 10-year period. Copper mining would take place in conjunction with the gold and silver mining at the property, so this is an add-on bonus for GLDG. GLDG also owns a 75% ownership stake in an uranium project called REA, which comprises of 16 permits covering an area of approximately 125,000 hectares and surrounds Orano's high-grade Maybell River deposit. It's hard to put a value on this as exploration is still ongoing, but discoveries so far show the deposits in the area contain 17.7% uranium. GLDG also holds 15% of the shares in Gold Royalty Corp, ticker GROY. Gold Royalty Corp is the fastest growing gold royalty in the world. As of Friday's close, GROY had a market cap of $630 million, which means GLDG's 15% ownership stake is worth $95 million. And just 19 days ago, an analyst gave GROY a one-year price target of $8.25, which is 75% higher than where the stock closed at on Friday. So GLDG's 15% stake in GROY could grow significantly in value by the end of this year. 
As of Friday's close, GLDG had a market cap of $220 million. If you subtract the $95 million value from their 15% ownership stake in Gold Realty Corp, that gives you a valuation on their resources of $125 million. If you divide that $125 million by their 32 million ounces of gold, you get a value on their gold of $3.90 per ounce. And the current price of gold as of the recording of this video is around $1,790 per ounce. Of course, a gold miner will never be valued at the spot price of gold because it costs a lot of money to mine gold. But compared to GLDG's peers, the average valuation for gold resources is $23 per ounce. And GLDG's resources are only valued at $3.90 per ounce. So clearly this stock is undervalued. Okay, moving on to the management team, I just want to highlight two people real fast. One is Amir Adani, and he is the chairman of the board and also the largest shareholder with more than 5% of the shares outstanding. Amir is an entrepreneur and the CEO of Uranium Energy Corp, which is a uranium producer. So he has a lot of experience in overseeing companies that mine minerals. Alistair Still is the CEO, and he has over 25 years of experience in corporate and project development, exploration, and mining operations. So clearly the management team knows what they're doing, and they have a lot of experience. Now a lot of times it can help to see what large institutions are doing so that we can follow them. And as we can see here, most large institutions are buying shares with only two selling shares. Further, some of the best investors in the world, including BlackRock, Rick Rule, and Doug Casey, all own shares of GLDG. And you know that they did their research before buying this stock. Now, I do want to show you the insider transactions as well. And as we can see here, there has been some insider selling. Now, I'm not concerned about all of the transactions from 10 months ago, but what is a little bit concerning is the fact that a director sold shares just two days ago. It was a small amount and it was just a director, but still, the insider selling is a little bit concerning. Now, moving on to the financials, GLDG does not have operating assets and does not generate operating cash flow. GLDG's value depends upon the value of the assets they hold and management's ability to advance their mining properties so that they can start mining gold. GLDG's approach is very unique compared to most mining companies. GLDG buys properties that are out of favor for very low prices and then either holds those properties until gold prices increase enough to make mining them profitable or de-risks the properties through exploration and joint partnerships. In this sense, GLDG is more of a merchant bank that is focused on increasing the value of their properties rather than mining them. So when we're looking at the financials, the income statement really doesn't matter because GLDG has no revenue and does not have any plans to have any revenue anytime soon. The balance sheet is what really matters for a company like this. Now, we already know what their assets are. As of Q3, they had $88 million in investments. That would be their 15% stake in GROY. And their properties cost them $45 million, which you can see here in the fixed assets net column. And since GLDG has no revenue, their cash in hand and operating expenses are going to be very important to look at, as well as their debt. At the end of Q3, GLDG reported $684,000 in cash on hand and $179,000 in short-term investments for a total liquid assets of $863,000. Now regarding their debt, they have no short-term debt and only $96,000 worth of long-term debt. They do have over $6 million in long-term tax liabilities, but they do appear to be slowly paying that down. So everything looks good here. The important thing is that their debt is quite low, so we know they're not buying their properties with huge amounts of debt, which is good. Now, their income and expenses are going to vary widely from quarter to quarter, depending upon how many assets they buy or sell, so we really can't gather any information from that. The important thing to know from a shareholder perspective is that GLDG has not raised money via dilutive equity in over five years. That means the chances of share offering are quite low. Now, the fact that GLDG is an asset management company makes valuing this company very difficult. It's nearly impossible to tell what they might be able to sell their assets for, and asset valuations fluctuate rapidly with a rise and fall in the prices of gold, copper, silver, and uranium. So when it comes to coming up with a price target, I'm going to leave that to the analysts on tip ranks. A top-rated analyst on TipRanks rated GLDG a buy and gave it a $4.98 price target. That represents a 238% upside from Friday's closing price. 
I read through his entire 32-page analyst report, and I was happy to see that the analyst used a 14% discount rate. That's good because it covers inflation at 9%. Another thing I read in the analyst report is that because this is a Canadian company with resources all over the world, it won't be affected that much by rising interest rates here in the United States. That's because if GLDG needs to get a loan, it can literally get a loan from anywhere in the world where it holds resource assets or even from its home country in Canada. And like I said earlier, GLDG's gold deposits are currently valued at $3.90 per ounce. That is the lowest valuation of any of GLDG's peers. While some of the low valuation can be attributed to GLDG's low-grade resources, the fact remains that GLDG's stock price is significantly undervalued. Now, no investment is without risks. So let's talk about some of the negatives with GLDG. First, setting up a gold mining operation takes a long time. And because GLDG is a junior mining company, it will take years for GLDG to advance their current portfolio and start generating income. Second, GLDG seems to be all over the place in terms of strategy, with their focus spread out amongst gold resources, gold mining, uranium mining, copper mining, and asset management. So GLDG is going to have to find a niche and focus if they're going to be successful. Third, the gold in GLDG's resources is low grade, which means it will cost more to mine that gold. There is some concern that mining the gold in some of the resource assets might not make economic sense. In other words, it might cost more to mine the gold than GLDG could make selling the gold. And if gold prices fall, the value of GLDG's properties will fall as well. On the other hand, gold resources are diminishing worldwide, and it's estimated that the world's current known gold resources will be depleted within 18 years. That should cause the price of gold to continue to rise and could improve the economics of mining GLDG's low-grade resources. The fourth risk is that the pandemic has caused operational challenges to mining gold as it has become difficult to find enough labor to operate in the mines. Now, the only thing about this risk is that by the time GLDG gets to the point where they're ready to start mining gold, the pandemic labor shortages should be over by then. And finally, the fifth risk to investing in GLDG is that because GLDG's 15% ownership stake in GROI makes up 43% of GLDG's market cap, any change in the valuation of GROI is going to have a significant effect on the valuation of GLDG. So in summary, while there are some risks with investing in GLDG, there is no denying the fact that this stock is undervalued. And with GLDG rising in price 92% of the time the Fed raises interest rates, I feel like this is a no-brainer. Now, if you do decide to invest, I recommend keeping up with the news that comes out on GLDG. And for that, I suggest you subscribe to their email list at gldgnews.com. That's gldgnews.com. Now regarding what I'm going to be doing, yes, I will be buying GLDG. I'm actually going to add it to the million dollar challenge portfolio. I also, I promise I will not buy any shares until after this video is made public. That's going to eliminate any thoughts or accusations about doing some sort of pump and dump, okay? I'm not buying any shares until after the video is made public. All right, that's going to wrap it up. I hope you got a lot out of this video. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. And if you're on YouTube, click the bell icon and click all so that you can get notified when I release my next video. I hope you have a lot of success trading and I will see you tomorrow.